guys, what is up? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a thumbnail using Photojet. So Photojet is a website which has a bunch of photo editors that you can use to make designs or just edit a photo. It's very, very cool and they asked me to make a video of a review and I really, really like this photo editor that they have. I've used it so much for thumbnails since I found their application and I just really, really like it. So definitely, definitely go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below as well. It is a desktop app, so you can only use it on a laptop, but it is super, super helpful if you make thumbnails or any other photo designs on your laptop. It's very, very good. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So when you go to your web browser, you will need to go to photojet.com. And as you can see here, you can create a design, make a collage, or edit a photo. And you have a bunch of options in that. So we want to go to create a design. So they have a bunch of templates here that you can choose from. So you can make a poster, a flyer, a card, magazine cover. There are a bunch of things you can do. And other things you can do is like make a Facebook ad or a Facebook post, Instagram post, all those things. If you like making designs yourself. And the good thing about this, you know you have the right sizes. So social media headers, this is what we're going to mostly use, like a YouTube channel art, that's your YouTube channel banner, YouTube thumbnail, Twitter header, Tumblr header, all these things that you can have and make. So we're going to want to go to YouTube thumbnail since that is what we are going to be making. So here you can see you have all these templates also as well and they have a bunch of cute things that you can use from these templates. Some of them you need full version but here you can add and click on text so add text and then you can see you can adjust a bunch of things like you can add different texts that give you fonts um, you can use your own fonts you can change the colors they give you a bunch of colors and you can use that rainbow thing you can make it bold just you have a bunch of options too you can bring it forward or backwards into your project you can duplicate you can delete it or you can add like outside line so that can make like a different color or just give it a glow of a different color or the same color so you can really play around with it and just design whatever you feel like making you can also have a bunch of clip art that you can add so you can add like shapes or flowers or hearts you have a bunch of options there as well and you can change the background color as you can see here i just made this it this other color and then i added this png of the iphone 7 plus since this is going to be a thumbnail for what is on my iphone 7 plus so i just positioned that to where i want it to be and just made it bigger or smaller then i added text and i made a bunch of text and make it made it in different fonts so it's a little more fun and you just really want it to be not plain and boring since it's the first thing people see before they click on your video so that is very important so i just made it big so you can actually see what it is about so you just really want to play around with this and see how you like it it's never going to be right the first time so you just really want to play around with it and see how you can make it better and just how you can make it more appealing for people to click on your video since a thumbnail does mean a lot to the people that you are watching your videos so as you can see here i just played around and added text like iphones what is on my iphone 7 and none of these are the same font and iphone 7 i made in this font since it's a little more like the actual iphone font and i just made the plus the same font as the what is since i want it to be like a little the same and on all these i've made a gray outline just to make it pop a little more than there's the actual color and then I just changed the colors a bit of the text and I wanted the colors of the text to pop a little more so then I just decided to change the color of the background to white as you can see so this will just make the colors of the text pop more so as you can see here I just adjusted the outline and all of that to make it more pop and just make that the right color so when i adjusted the color of the what is i wanted it to be the same as the on my so i made that same color and the iphone 7 and the plus so like i said you have to play around with this and see that works for you and i added an overlay of a square and just got 
this bluish greenish color that I really like and just got that and then I just adjusted that to where I wanted it to be and send it a little backwards so it's on the bottom of the project so it doesn't cover the text so I just made that so it looks like the one side is white and the other is this green color that I really like and I just decided to switch it around so that it's not color on color so the text can still pop with the white so that's basically what it looks like so far and I just decided to make that a lighter color and to save it just click on save on the top I made it what's on my iPhone since that's the name of the video just called my project that and then I just click on high resolution and then just save it to my computer. It's very easy as that. If you guys enjoyed that video, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of Photojet and if you have used it, I really, really recommend it. Definitely go check it out in the description box below. Definitely subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. You can see more videos like this from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be weird and be proud of it. Love you guys so much. Bye.